Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, which means today I am flying home. I get to see Brian and Nolan. Brian told me that he misses me so much and that he feels like he's a widow right now. <laughs> but I didn't die, I'm here. I'm just on the other side of the country. Anyway, my sister left very early this morning. Her flight was at 5.30 a.m. She wasn't too pleased about that, but she did it. She woke up, she was out the door by 3.15 this morning. And I was a lovely sister and woke up to see her out and make sure her Uber came. Part of me kind of wants to go back to Santa Barbara. Part of me wants to just relax. <sighs> I haven't decided yet, but as for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and repack my stuff, which isn't nearly as exciting as packing it to begin with. Although I did buy a couple of things, so we're gonna have to fit that in the suitcase. It'll happen, but I'll probably show you because who doesn't buy stuff on vacation? You need to know how to put it back in your suitcase. So I hope you guys are subscribed to this channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if I met you on this trip, because there's lots of awesome people that I met, whether it be on the wedding or in a store or something like that, comment and say hi. Let's pack my stuff. Actually, first I'm gonna see if they have dryer sheets because they have a washer and dryer, so you'd think they'd have dryer sheets. Yes. Of course, I didn't use a washer and dryer, but, you know, just with clothes that are technically dirty. It's not like they're filthy, but I'm gonna put these in here just so that my lovely away suitcase stays fresh. Packing montage, coming right up. So this is where it's going to get interesting because I purchased some stuff. I bought this cute little leaf plate a book called Travel Listography. Well, this will actually be fun to do on the plane. I bought a little headband that is very easy to pack. I bought a little magnet. Shout out to that store, Coastland, where all of these were made by local high school students and the money goes to them. I put them in the last video. That was really cool. Um, and then I bought a sweatshirt for Nolan because he is a hoodie freak. And then I bought this vintage leather bag. This is pretty bulky and this is pretty bulky. So that's what's gonna be interesting about repacking. So let's see what I can do. I'm just going to take the leather bag, lay it flat inside. And it can just kind of be smushed a little bit. And this is the compression side. Try to make this sweatshirt kind of the exact size. We're ready to go home and see Brian and Nolan. So I just got a text that my flight is delayed. So that's cool. I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to leave at 12.47 and now it's going to leave at two. But then my next flight leaves Dallas at 7.39. So that's not a lot of time and I have to get to a different terminal. I don't really care what time I get home as long as it's tonight. I do have clients booked tomorrow morning. So that's what would really suck. So as of right now, it looks like my best option besides risking it is flying out at 5.45 tonight instead out of Santa Barbara, then going to Phoenix to then go to Charlotte to then go to Detroit. Ah, which would be crazy, but I would arrive at 9.20 a.m. and then I could still get to work for at least half of my schedule. I don't know what to do, it's so hard. Like I could totally make it home and just get home late, but if I miss it, I could at least plan to miss it instead. 
because what if I get to Dallas and there's no flights to Detroit until the next morning anyway? So if that's the case, like shouldn't I just plan to miss it and book the Phoenix and Charlotte flights? It's very hard. Now I'm trying to Uber to Santa Barbara and there's no cars available. Come on. All right, my Uber will be here in 11 minutes. He finally connected me to a driver and I'm headed to Santa Barbara. My flight doesn't leave till 5.45. I did book a luggage storage place because I wanna go and explore the city a little bit more. Everywhere has different spots for luggage storage. When I Googled it, I forget what this one is called, but I'll let you guys know, where you can just pay $5 to store your bag. So I picked a spot, it's actually at the UPS store, but it's right kind of where I want to explore. So it should be perfect. I am actually storing both bags. So it's actually $10, but I don't even care. I mean, it's extra time in California, I guess, right? All right. We'll just sit here for a little bit while I wait. Seven minutes now. After that packing video, I kind of had to repack because now I wanted to wear shorts all day instead of leggings, but I know I'm gonna wanna change into leggings before the red eye flights. So I just kinda changed everything to really super available. If I just have to open up my bag real quick and grab something out of it, it's right on top. So, all right, made it to Santa Barbara. I'm gonna go check my bags into the UPS store. The site I used is called Bounce. And like I said, it was $5 per bag. All right, all done. And my bags are gonna be there until about two. So time to walk around a little bit. I'm on the hunt for new souvenirs for my nephews. The other day I accidentally threw them out, we're assuming, because they're lost. We were consolidating shopping bags and I think they were deep in the bottom of one of the shopping bags, so. Being that that's probably what happened, I owe Kelsey some more souvenirs. And I'm gonna go grab them. Got them. Perfect. In this nice little mini park where I'm all by myself. And it's in the shade. Which is nice. It's kinda hot. I got some empanadas, finally. Two different ones, of course, from the outside. You can't tell which one is which, so let's just bite into them. This is the caprese one. So good. All right, so this is the other one. Mm. Forget what's in it. I love empanadas. I also went to go get a petty because why not? My feet hurt. How cute is this airport? I love it. Like, this is the airport. It's adorable. All right, I got here super early because I was just kind of over walking around Santa Barbara. I'm just gonna sit around and work on the vlog. Why not? Oh, look, I wanna go out here. Oh, yes. Perfect. Let's sit right here and watch the planes. Wish I could be on that flight instead. Planes straight on look like they're smiling at you. It's kind of funny. Yeah, Santa Barbara does not have a lounge, but. I mean, this is pretty cute. All right, made it through security. They didn't really have a separate pre-check line, so I was behind all the people that don't know what they're doing, which is always fun. Now we're just gonna find a place to hang out for a few hours.
Order two vlogs. No, I just want to take a nap. Alright, on flight number one out of three today, and there's nobody next to me. Alright, they're closing in a minute, but I got a guava smoothie, looks like meatballs, a little Caesar salad, turkey sandwich, and a cappuccino. So that was a pleasant surprise. On my app, it said it was supposed to be closed at 7, and I landed at 7.15, so I'm like, ugh, I'll go over there. And then they were open until 8. It was 7.33, you guys. I have... I think three hours here. I'm in Phoenix. We are coming to Phoenix in October. But I do need to get ready for my red-eye flight. So I need to take my contacts out. I need to put on my comfy clothes. And then I'll probably do a little editing, let's be honest. You guys like my new hat? I'm friggin' tired. It's 6 a.m. Eastern time, but it feels like 3 a.m. Just landed. Centurion Lounge isn't open yet. Although their old hours before COVID, they would have been open. So I was like, let's do the minute suites because they open at six, but nobody's there. whole thing is the Centurion Lounge too. <sighs> we are all sitting here waiting for it to open. Flight's literally boarding, but I'm here. We get to enjoy it. Literally my flight's like right over there. Good morning, Charlotte. Eating as best I can. They started boarding at 7 and I got here at 7.10 and the whole flight was already boarded and I was the last one. But it's not a full flight and I have exit out. Yay! Luggage and personal articles should be stowed either overhead or under the seat in front of you. To prepare for departure, close your tray table and place your seat in the upright position. All right, so I landed. They did end up checking my bag because I was on some really tiny little flights where there's only a couple seats. So I have to go grab that. Then I have to go pick up my car, get an energy drink, go to work. So it all worked out. It certainly wasn't ideal. It certainly wasn't the route I would have picked. It would have been nice to get home last night, but you know what? I'd be exhausted no matter what anyway. I did have to move two clients. I'm gonna have to get them in later this week or something instead, but thankfully they were really understanding. That was quite the adventure. All right, I hope you guys liked coming to Santa Barbara and Carpentria with me. Where are we going next? Brian and Nolan and I will be going to Phoenix in a couple weeks. So that'll be our next trip. Comment below and let me know what you guys want me to cover next. Obviously, if we're not flying until then, there's tons of how-to videos. I've also been thinking about maybe doing something like travel stories. I've been to so many places and have so many funny, crazy stories that maybe I can tell you guys something. All right, guys, hope you're subscribed. I will catch you next time. See you later. Thanks for watching. So when I say I need to go get a monster, I mean Brian. I got the goods. Oh man, that's great.